back with the one and only Dr. Lori, PhD antiques appraiser, star of History Channel. I'm so great, uh, glad to have you back. I'm happy to be here. I'm really excited about this segment today because we are actually appraising, talking value right. of some employees, some Fox 4 family members items. I know, is this fun? I'm excited. No, this is my like, favorite bring game. In this stuff. Yes. I know, I know. My favorite game. Lots of good stuff to get to here, but first right. we are going to start with Loretta. She's a Fox 4 family member. Come on in, Loretta. Hi, Loretta. <laughs> Hi. So great to have you here. Good glad morning. to be here. Good morning. Well, so, glass. Yes. 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 It's Westmoreland Milk Glass uh, from Pennsylvania. Yes. So the, are the family from there originally? Yes. And then, uh, of course, you said, oh, I miss the snow, so I'm coming to Florida. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, hate, I, I hate it down here. <laughs> uh, everybody loves it here. I do. Everybody I love it. it here. I love it. Yeah. Yes. So these are original milk glass, and it looks kind of a milky color, which mm -hmm. is why we call it milk yeah. glass. So you have a collection of glass. Anytime, Loretta, that you increase the value of a collection is when you add to the same collection. Now, some glass, I oftentimes will say, you know, glass can be inexpensive mm -hmm. to produce, okay? So sometimes the resale of glass is relatively not all that valuable, but the types of pieces that Loretta has kind of changes that rule mm -hmm. a little bit. This mm -hmm. is sometimes called Mary Gregory glass. Mm -hmm. It's based on sandwich glass from um, Massachusetts, from Cape Cod, in fact, where um, basically they would decorate with this Victorian style of images of uh, little boys with fishing poles and little girls, you know, in their bonnets, reading a book, and that's what you have here. These particular pieces are the real thing. They're early decades of the 20th century, and value on these are about $75 a piece. Wow. So that's good. Were you expecting, so that's were good. You expecting the value to be somewhere around there? You just have no idea? No, or? I had no idea what, the, what they'd be worth. But I, it's, a, it's a interesting to find out what they are worth. And then lots of people have, and some of the rest of these pieces, of course, um, anywhere between about $10 and $15 more, you know, decorative pieces, I would say keep within the collection. Mm -hmm. as opposed to the tchotchkes, right? Tchotchkes are nice, <laughs> but you've got to think about that. But many of our viewers probably have a violin hanging around. So I want you to think about a couple of things when it comes to violins. Two appraisals are necessary. A total appraisal, that means somebody has to play it, uh -huh. right? And then also an appraisal of the condition or the body. See, the condition uh -huh. is yeah. fair. Mm -hmm. You know, like my condition, fair. <laughs> you know, the hips, fair. Anyway, but what you're looking at here is some nice inlaid abalone work. You're also looking at a good quality piece, a piece that relates to the same form. And you know, everybody always talks about my gloves. Let's make sure that box doesn't fall. Thank there you. you. <laughs> everybody talks about my gloves, but here's a great example of why I wear the gloves. You see this right here? You see all of this? That's where the oils on your hands oh. will damage a piece. How much can it devalue something? A lot. A lot. Okay. As much as 50 to 75 percent. Wow. So value on that is about 100 to about 150 dollars in that condition. But again, it's not the million dollar Stradivarius. Right. And everyone goes, oh, it might be really that. But violins were the most popular in the early 20th century. Thanks for bringing them in, Loretta. Nice Thank to meet you. Thank you, Loretta. So great to have you on. Family history. Final question. Now that you know the value of it, what are you going to do with it? Same thing? So you're just going to bring it back to the house? I'm just taking it back to the house. That's <laughs> correct. <laughs> because, right, you know, Loretta. your grandkids probably want it. That's right. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks, Loretta. And thank you. I love your knowledge. You're so knowledgeable, Doctor. I love how you can just look at something and just boom. You know, it's like you don't even have to A lot of years of work. It. I know. <laughs> she is good. So great to have you back. Good to be here. Check out our website for more on Dr. Lori, FoxForMorningBlend.com.